Welcome back, soapy YouTube watchers. Today we are creating a dark night sky with a bright yellow star. Hello again, this is Lori from Lori Lynn Design Soapworks. Today we are making three wise men soap. The soap may look complicated, but when you break it down, it's really easy. The base of my soap is black, so I am coloring all of my oils first using activated charcoal and black night mica. I find that using only activated charcoal makes a very black lather in the finished bar. A dark lather can be unappealing in the soap dish. On the other hand, using only black mica makes the soap a dark gray. So using both is an acceptable compromise. Here are some spaghetti noodle looking soap dough embeds that I made using a clay extruder. I made a yellow star and a bunch of white circles. You'll see later what I do with them. The scent I am using today is Three Wise Men Fragrance Oil from Wholesale Supplies Plus. According to their site, it is a classic favorite of frankincense, myrrh, patchouli, and warm powdery sandalwood. It smells earthy and manly and what I would expect a wise man to smell like. In the cute container is Gold Coast Holiday Mica mixed with oil. My technique today is to use the gold mica to create a sparkly swirl in the soap. Randomly pouring it thick into the soap batter gives me this effect. The movement of pouring into the mold mixes things just enough. I'm always surprised at how crooked you can place a soap embed and still have it come out with great results. To my OCD friends, look away now, this is going to be messy. Also to my OCD friends, it bugged me too. Cover it up quick. Noodles, noodles everywhere. I finish off the top with the yellow star, making sure it gets covered all the way with soap batter. A decorative top with a spoon is glammed up with more Gold Coast Holiday Mica, so the three wise men can really bring gold frankincense and myrrh to baby Jesus. Here's the cut. I was really pleased with the streaky gold swirls. The white stars really popped and the big gold star on top really brought it all together. I decided to wrap the bars in this really cute telescope paper. I really enjoyed making this soap. I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. Well, that's all for now. Remember, Great soap doesn't have to be boring. See you next Sunday.